Is your hairline receding at all? Nah. The testosterone's got to help with that. No, nah, not yet. I really? don't know why. I've been on it for six years. Six no. years. Yeah, six years. Wow, so they had to keep giving it to you while you were locked up? Yeah. And they administer it? It's not like you're walking around with a tube of testosterone, right? No, you go twice a week to healthcare. Really? You can either give it to yourself or the nurse will give it to you. Like, from my experience, having done steroids when I was younger, holy shit. You best, were juicing? Best feeling ever. I, I did, like, one cycle, which, you know, I probably should have stuck with it. I probably look a lot different like, right now. When I first came home from the joint, this bid, I, did, I ran out. And I hadn't uh, got seen by uh, a doctor yet so i had to buy this shit off the street shit off the street strong as f mm. i was like whoa whoa because you're probably fuck? getting like a different whoa. testosterone right what it's yeah it was a different brand i feel like the brand in the joint was like not oh, as strong yeah. Watered down, yeah yeah like my beard like poof i was like what the oh shit really it's like that so when hey, you don't have it you start fiending you're like a crackhead yeah. no, for that test the test <laughs> Hey, and for the record, my, for the record, my mustache is not fake. It's not drawn on. Like everyone says, I oh, penciled his mustache. But in. you shaved his super, super thin. Oh yeah, I like that. That's yeah. the Reekin style. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Boricua. You got a real Reekin kit going on with the hairline and the, yeah. the fucking thing. Because I grew up around a shitload of Puerto Ricans. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Good people. I did too. Part. The chicks were hot. I did too. Oh man, the bitches. Probably all fat. Free my pregnant. bitch from the joint. <laughs> they're probably all fat and pregnant Free. by 25. But my bitch is when I was my, in high my bitch is full. Well, she's 25 percent Cuban, 75 percent Puerto Rican. This is your girlfriend? She's locked up for murder right now. What the? F she was an original Wilo D from Humble Park. Well, wow. Out west, Keystone and uh, Wabanzia. So you're holding this woman down? Yes. While she's Faithfully. locked up? Yes. That's murder. a badass bitch. Yes. And you assume that she's going to get 20 years and you're going to hold it down? No, the whole no, no, time? no, 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 no. She's on she's... her bed. She's about to come home now. So how long we has she just been did... in there? Oh, so you've been there? She just did 18. She just, every time I go to the joint, I f her. What? On and off my whole life. She's been in there for 18 years. She's older than me. It's a bad bitch, though. And you've been faithful this whole time. Nah, she knows I'm cracking hoes. Oh my god, what the? F she's scrubbing, <laughs> she's scrubbing head in there too. We do our suck this. That's a bad bitch. It's like your bitch. She's like, babe, when I come home, we're from the coast together. I'm like, yes. That's a cool pastime. I'm together. with yeah. all of it. Yeah, you can yeah. get set up together too. Get I told her, I'm like, together. I'm gonna go on no jumper and ask Adam about his wife. Are you okay with this? Wow. <laughs> I'll be like, can I be the first tranny? To but y'all don't want to. <laughs> y'all can't f together. Are you? F now that's disrespectful. A lot of lesbian couples will f with a man. I'm not a lesbian. Okay. I'm a fucking no dick. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, no, <laughs> not happening. I just wasn't sure. Because yeah. in that Tommy G thing, it's like I wasn't 100 percent sure, like if you were identifying as a man fully. Yes. Okay. Fully. Okay. I pee standing up. Seriously? Yes. I, saw I my mastered kid do it. that the other day. I mastered it. <laughs> Is your kid a boy? No, it's your girl. How the f she do that? I don't know, but we were in the shower and she just like poked her hips out and just started peeing on the ground. She's raw. She's, She's training. I didn't know that was possible. She had the session? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know a good plug. <laughs> oh, that's the, the day I fear. Dad, I don't want to be a boy. What uh, would you think? Well, how would that make you feel? I will shepherd her into the promised land. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> nah, what, what age are we talking? I it's mean, like, if well, she it says it right now, she's three and a half. She's three and a half? Yeah. Okay, now this is where I might sound like a fucking hypocrite, but when they changed that law to where kids can decide what they want to be, what what is it, like seven, they said, is when they can decide their gender. Really, seven? That's fucking crazy Seven to me. sounds very early. They, Exactly. I feel like if my daughter was like 11 or 12 and she was saying she wanted to transition, I'm not saying I would start the transition then, but no, there's, I would take it very serious. Where I go to the doctor, there's like eight and nine year olds in there getting, there's nine year old boys getting hormones pumped into their body. And you think this is wrong? I think that's wrong. Yeah, this is very strange. I think that's very fucked up. Nine, dude. Like, you don't, you haven't experienced anything in life to even know you're being influenced. Those kids are being influenced mm. somewhere down the line, and that shit's fed up to me. I, I don't, think of that. And the LGBTQAI, ABCD123 can get as mad as <laughs> they not want. You're not to make that joke. You're on that team. I can, that's that why I can say that. for you. But I they, can make that joke. I'm cis hat. But I don't even know what that means. Cis hat. Hetero and cisgender. So there's too many. <laughs> there's I gotta take my hat off for this one. There's too fucking many for that. I don't know what the f that's that I 
No. No. Yeah. But that's crazy. If I had a son and he came like, I want to be a girl at fucking four or five years old, I would say, go sit the f down. Like, no. Where, where, who told you that? Yeah. Where did that come from? So I could go whoop their ass. Yeah. Well, what? I'm not going to whoop anyone's ass, but I'm definitely going to be very Why skeptical. would okay. I fight? I don't know. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> where I come from, we throw wait, these wait bitches. Wait a minute. <laughs> when I think about like kids transitioning, I think of this being something that happens like exclusively in like privileged, rich ass areas. But I'm also assuming you don't go to a clinic. No, I go to literally a f in, it's called women something health it's in aurora so it's which like is shitty not and it's not for rich all. people see the, no that's very interesting it takes the medical card which that's what the fuck i got state insurance i don't have fucking, no i'm a trench baby ain't none I of love that. the idea <laughs> of me and you going to work and making money and then some of our tax money going to help nine-year-old kids transition exactly it's like, what the that's i mean i could i i mean that's mind-boggling okay <laughs> What age does it become valid? Because you sound like you knew when you were nine years old. I knew when I was nine years old you that I know. liked pussy. Yes. Okay. But did I know that I wanted to be a man? No. Did I know I liked dressing like a boy? I was comfortable like that. And I like to do boy shit, play sports, be in the hood with niggas, kick the bobos, talk about other bitches. Yes. Okay. Yes. But I never was like, oh, I'm going to. But no one ever influenced me either. What's kicking a bobo? You know what kicking a bobo is? Like a ball? We're kicking the bubbles right now. We're talking oh, shit. Kicking it. Okay. We're kicking it. Kicking well, the bubbles. Bobo? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a term in the rack that we use. You I don't thought about what kicking the hey, bubbles. Low key. Yeah, no, I don't, no. Wow. I never okay. broke that down. I love slang. I love well, that you don't. I know, love know. that I don't know either. Oh, that's dope. I guess I'm a dumb rapper too, right? No. <laughs> um Hell no. I don't know if you're as smart as Vaughn off 1700. I would like I to you guys be. play Jeopardy against each other. I might not be as smart as him because he's making it. I'm not. But I th you're, you're probably. <laughs> he's rich now. You're I'm not. Smart. You got to be in the top 90% of intelligence for sure. Not top, uh, like top 10%. Well, thank you for giving me my prize. I think so. Yeah. yeah I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate that. Not, I'm not I, making I mean, everybody just if, Chicago's if, retarded. If, but. if rapping don't take off, I mean, I guess I could go on one of those shows and. Are you addicted to make, drugs? And no. No? No. That's like the I don't thing, even barely smoke weed. That's the thing holding a lot of people back. Yeah, no, I don't. Drugs are scary. So if I put a plate of ecstasy pills on the table, you wouldn't take one? No. That's probably good. No. no especially not with now. Now, do I take ecstasy? Have I taken ecstasy before? Do I like ecstasy? Hell the f yeah, but. For a freak off. F yeah. A diddy party. Oh. Uh, it, no, uh, save the oil. <laughs> save the oil. <laughs> oh. Hey, you saw the bed in this man's yard, though? In Diddy's yard? Crazy. On the, on the basketball court? How much memory foam did it take? How much memory foam? Thank God it's that memory, memory foam. foam doesn't really have a memory. Because that memory foam <laughs> has seen some shit. It's got stretch marks. Yeah. That memory foam got stretch marks now. Yeah. Neat prints. Oil stains. I'm so fascinated by you being in a relationship with somebody who's locked up. So when do you think they're coming home? She had two more years to work release. What are the odds be... that like they get out and you don't really vibe the same way on the streets that you vibe? I mean, if that bars? if that happened, that would still be my homie. Okay. Because we were homies first. But it's like a passionate thing. Like you're yeah, probably gonna is. be angry. I love that bitch. Yeah. Stand on my forehead. Oh, so that's Beatrice. Her. Yes. Mm. Free BBD out that bitch. BBD. BBD. Who's Diana? My mother. What's that one? Rotisserie? My mother. <laughs> no, Rosario. Now you're dissing the dead no, right now. Thought... You calling my dead homie a chicken? <laughs> that's really what I thought it said. My bad. Bro, <laughs> what you trying to say? She turning in that mother? No, I, I heard nah. Boss Man Dilo said it. I'm in rotation like some rotisserie chicken. How the f*** did he come up how he did, bro? He just saying the fly as shit. I just, man, I just want to be like him. Yeah, be able to be lit without dissing You everybody. know who I really Quit. What's that fat nigga's name? Uh, Drewski. Drewski's the best. So I love fun. him. Oh my god, he's fucking hilarious. Nobody's funnier than him. No. Before he even starts talking, no, I'm laughing. He's just fucking, and the shit he wears. Yeah. Like what? All he has to do is put on a slightly out of the ordinary costume, and yeah. it's like the funniest shit ever. Yeah. Did you see? He put, he had some girl shit on, some like skirts and shit. He was rolling his back. The, the one, no, the one where he, he was like a like a goth rapper. He was kind of doing hey, like a trippy rap thing. Told, yes, that was funny. If they, oh, I seen that one too. If they would have told me that they were doing that shit in Chicago, his casting thing, oh, I would have so, went. 
I would have went, bro. Uh, if he ever comes back, I could probably connect you. Let yeah, me know, cause be I'm incredible. going. Wow, I'm going. Oh, 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 he, you know how he was treat, he was treating the niggas from the rack as soon as they walked in. He's like, oh no, he got the white, he he got the black ones on. Oh no, he a stepper. He gotta get the out of here. <laughs> <laughs>